Good evening, mathematicians. Tonight we're working on lesson 12.8, units of time. We're going to be working on page 235 in your Go Math book. So make sure that you are on this page. And I need you to write down the essential question. How can I convert a smaller unit to a larger unit of time to solve problems. Go ahead and write this down at the top of page 235 and we'll go ahead and get started. Let's look at number two on page 235. Number two is asking us to change five weeks into only days. Now I want you to think how many days are in one week? That's right, we have seven days in one week. So if we have five weeks and there are seven days in each of those weeks, we know that we can multiply seven times five and that will get us 35. So there are 35 days in five weeks. Now this conversion of seven days in one week, that is not on our reference sheet, but that's something that we need to make sure that we know. We need to make sure that we know that there are seven days in one week. All right, let's look at number three. Number three is wanting us to change three years all to weeks. So if we look at our reference sheet at the time conversions, we can see that we're going from years to weeks. So we have here that one year equals 52 weeks. But we have three of those years. So we need three of those 52s. So we can multiply 52 times 3. We know that 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 5 is 15. So there are 156 weeks in 3 years. All right, Smarties, now it's your turn. I want you to answer numbers 4 and number 5 on your own, make sure to look at your reference sheet at the time conversions, you'll need those to be able to answer the question. And go ahead and work these out, press play when you're ready to check the answer. Okay, let's check our answers together. We can see that we have nine hours and they wanted us to change it to minutes. And looking at my time conversions, I can see that one hour is 60 minutes. So I had to multiply my nine times 60, which gave me 540 minutes. Now looking at number five, I have nine minutes and they wanted me to change it to seconds. So I'm looking at my time conversions. It says that one minute is 60 seconds. So I can multiply my nine times my 60, which I did over here, and I got 540 again. So nine minutes equals 540 seconds. How'd you do? I hope you did great. Give yourselves a happy face. Let's go ahead and jump down to number eight. Number eight wants us to compare using less than, greater than, or equal to. So we have two years and we have 14 months. Now our time conversion on our reference sheet doesn't have years to months, but this is something that we should know already. We have that there are 12 months in a year. So we know that one year equals 12 months. Now remember, in order to compare units of measure, we have to have the same units of measurement. Right now we have years and here we have months. We need to change them to the smallest units of measurement, which in this case are months. So I need to change my two years to months. So I will have months and months and I can compare them. 
So I need to change my two years into months. Well, I know that there are 12 months in one year, but I have two years. So I have to multiply 12 times two, which would give me 24. So there are 24 months in two years. Now I can compare. I have 24 months and I have 14 months. So I can see which one's greater. Is my two years greater or is my 14 months greater? That's right, my two years is greater. So I can put my greater than symbol pointing to the two years. Okay, let's look at number nine. Number nine wants us to compare three hours and 300 minutes. Well, we can't compare them now because we're out of different units of measurement. We have hours here and minutes here. We need to change them to both be the smallest units of measurement. In this case, that's minutes. Well, 300 minutes is already in minutes, so we need to change three hours to minutes. So we want to know how many minutes are in three hours. Well, I'm going to look at my time conversions and I can see that there are 60 minutes in one hour, but I have three of those hours. So I need to multiply 60 times three. I know that 60 times three is 180. So there are 180 minutes in three hours. Now I can see that 300 minutes is greater than three hours, which is the 180 minutes. So I can go ahead and put my greater than sign pointing to my 300 minutes. All right, friends, these next two problems are for you. I want you to compare two days to 48 hours and six years to 300 weeks. Go ahead and press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Good luck. Okay, let's check our work. Now, I had to change my two days all to hours so I can have hours and hours. Now, there are 24 hours in one day, so I needed to multiply two times 24, which gave me 48 hours. So I could see that two days is equal to 48 hours. Now for number 11, we had to change six years to weeks, and we know that there are 52 weeks in one year, so I had to multiply 52 times six, which gave me 312, which means that six years is greater than 300 weeks. How did you do? Great job. Let's move on to the last problem. Let's look at number 14. Number 14 says, Jody practiced a piano piece for 500 seconds. Bill practiced a piano's piece for eight minutes. Who practiced longer? Explain. So we are needing to compare 500 seconds to eight minutes. Now, boys and girls, I want you to try this one on your own. So I want you to tell me who practiced longer? Was it Jody with the 500 seconds or was it Bill with the eight minutes? Remember to use your time conversions here to help you. Go ahead and answer the question and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. All right, let's check our answer. So when we compared 500 seconds to eight minutes, we should have changed eight minutes to seconds. 
which would have told me to multiply 60 seconds times 8. Well, 60 times 8 is 480. So 8 minutes is equal to 480 seconds. Now we can see that 500 seconds is greater than 8 minutes. So Jody practiced longer because she practiced for 500 seconds, which is greater than 480 seconds, which was Bill's time. So now we know that Jody practiced longer. All right, let's look at our homework questions for tonight. They are on page 236, and you need to answer questions 1 through 6 on page 236 for tonight's homework. All right, when you get done with your homework questions, don't forget to assess yourself. Let us know whether you feel like you're a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert. Good luck with your homework questions for tonight, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Have a good night. Bye.